Summer Youth Development Program. And we're going to go ahead and, and show you a short video, and thereafter, and I'll, and I'll introduce the speaker for the day. Hello, this is Lumen May, County Commissioner for District 3. I want to thank you for coming out uh, to our Summer Employment uh, Award Program today. First, I want to thank the young people who participated in this program, who had the initiative to fill out an application, go through a screening process, uh, go through a job interview, and get placed on a job. I want to congratulate them uh, on not only starting, but finishing the program. Uh, I often say that the greatest investment is in human capital, uh, and today is one of the greatest economic investments that I believe we can make as a county by investing in our young people. They have made a difference. Not only have they made a difference, many of them have been able to earn money, extra money, where they can help buy their school supplies, where they're are able to go back out and buy school clothes and some of them are even giving their money to help their parents and grandparents help their other siblings. As you can see behind me we have a great group of young people who have been influenced by the workers in our summer employment program. So today you'll learn a little bit more about our program but more importantly you'll be here to witness and apply these young people for making a difference in their community. Thank you. The Summer Youth Employment Program teaches you so many things like accountability, discipline, learning to be a part of a team, listening to others, and you get paid, which is pretty great. It gives more experience than other traditional jobs, and it could also help expand yourself into getting a better job at any place. I think it was a great experience, and it was like the right amount of time for everything. It was just all around great. The youth program is awesome for anyone looking for a nice summer job and to help you kind of know what you want to do in life, it's a great program. This is a, a nice program, great jump start for people who are still in school and still trying to experiment in what they want to do after school. The summer youth program has allowed me to learn much about the legal field, especially how attorneys within the city work, how they prepare legal documents, how they prepare for cases, uh, plan for board meetings. You know, when I moved to the United States, Definitely there wasn't a lot of opportunities for, for me especially to do things like this. So I'm very grateful that it benefited me and it allowed me to learn about the legal profession uh, in case I want to pursue a future career in law. It really helps you be put inside of situations uh, in, in real life scenarios where you need to talk to people, communicate, and be professional really. It's a good experience for youth. It, uh, it will definitely help them and later in life with their whatever job they'll be doing. This is a good chance for me to actually like experience what I want to do like in the real world like later on in life more than just like oh I just want a first job. I want to like actually get a job that like shows me what I'll do like in the future or, like if I'm truly interested in it or not so I can figure that out now before I get to college. So I would recommend the summer youth program because it gives youth the opportunity to learn about a specific career field. This is a really great program. I would recommend it to everyone and I'm definitely coming back next year. I'll definitely apply for it next year and I would recommend it to anybody. I would recommend this program to other youth because it's a very good experience. It could leave an impact on people. It could help them with whatever decisions they're trying to make in later in life or help them make a decision on where they want to work later in life. I definitely would recommend this program to other youth, um, especially youth within my community who may not have access to programs like this. Uh, who may not know about programs like this, I definitely would recommend it to them uh, for them to experience this, for them to develop their own interests and their passions. And I would love to come back next year if I have the chance. I would definitely recommend the Summer Youth Employment Program because it not only gives youth an experience to work in a professional setting, but it also gives us a glimpse into the lives of the hardworking people that help run Eskimia County. I know from my personal experience working in the Community and Media Relations Department for the last two years, it's been amazing and I've found a family that I know I can always go to for any advice I would need. The man, there, there's a 
man behind the scene that does everything. That's the reason why this program is in place. He is a hard work. I think he's the hardest working man in the world. And he's one of my friends. We, we grew up together. We went to uh, college together. But yet, I am still trying to get there with him. And I just want to introduce to to some and um, and let everybody know who is behind the scenes of this summer youth program. It was his initiative. It was his vision. And um, we could not have done it without his support, as well as our, our board. And it's none other than our Commissioner Mayor. Let's stand up and give him our, our, our hand. Thank you, Clara. And you know, first, let me thank the participants. Um, for participating, and there's a lot of people behind the scenes, a lot of people have worked hard uh, throughout the years to make this program. Certainly, it's not uh, one person's job, it's everybody's job. So, you welcome to Brownsville. We're very excited about Brownsville. Our first, just on protocol, I want to recognize our elected officials and special guests that are here. Uh, our partner, and we could not do this and have this many kids without a partner with someone in uh, Career Escarosa, Dr. Marcus McBride. Uh, thank you, Dr. McBride. City Council President Allison Patty. Allison, thank you for being here. I think you were here when you were right for the election. You came back after the morning. Most politicians don't come back after they win. Uh, we certainly want to thank the President of the City Council, uh, my dear friend who works with us over in Brownsville, uh, Elarion Wiggins. <laughs> thank you, Allison. Uh, I also want to represent the District 3 school board member, but the coach Dave Williams, the renowned coach of football high school. Thank you. And we also have one of our football buddy, school board member Kevin Adams. Kevin, thank you for being here. The representative Andrade's office, we have Trevor. Kevin, thank you for being here. And we sorry that Representative Andrade couldn't make it, but we appreciate it. From the minority chamber, uh, we have Mr. Brian Wire. Brian, thank you so much. From the Sheriff's Office, we have um, Chief Deputy Leiter. Thank you. Uh, Chief Andy Hobbs, who y'all saw yesterday dancing and shooting basketball in Evan Wood. Thank you so much. <laughs> Running for beer from the Sheriff's Office. Uh, thank you, Running, for being here. We appreciate it. Scott Lobster uh, from the Tax Collector Office. Scott, thank you for being here as well. <laughs> Community Helping Center. Ms. Smiley, one of my partners. Thank you for being here. I don't know if David Stafford is here, but I do not need to see David Stafford. Uh, but for a brief moment, we're going to hear from our sheriff. Uh, the sheriff had a vision of Operation Brownville, and one of the things uh, that we were tasked with was curbing violence. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have some young people who are not here today. Uh, because once again, the phone rang early this morning, uh, and one of our former athletes, a uh, good kid, uh, unfortunately lost his life this morning uh, to gun violence. And so let me say to the young people here, uh, the reason this program is important because when you get up early in the morning going to work and you're working late, you don't have time to hang out. You don't have time to be in the streets. And unfortunately, I know many of you are uh, friends uh, with a young man as I am that lost his life and uh, we send our prayers and thoughts to him. Uh, but more importantly, the uh, reason we do this big ceremony, we bring in the staff because none of you get the opportunity to be on the front cover of the paper on Channel 3 News. It's only when you get shot, killed, and violence and negativity. And so that's why today is so important that we can apply to for them positive. <laughs> so then I welcome up my friend, the sheriff, a uh, guy that I coach with, Ben Wynn, and the guy that we started this Operation Brown deal, and today is one of those many successes. Welcome to Sheriff Chip Simmons. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Um, many of you don't know, but uh, Lumen and I, uh, we talked a little bit about it, but for 20 some odd years, we, we have had meeting after meeting talking about what we can do with our school-aged kids, and what we can do specifically with the, the young men that, that we see are going the wrong path. And, and Lumen and I, we, we spent way too many phone calls saying, hey, do you remember this player? Do you remember that player? And well, and it never ends well. It's always like, you know, that was who was in, in, got injured on this day or got injured on that day. Um, Lumen wanted to have this intern program. He called me up. He says, I have an intern program, um, but I don't want to pay him. And I said, no, you got to pay him, Lumen. You got to pay him. So those of you who got money, 
you need to thank me for that because Lumen, Lumen was going to pay you with um, he was going to pay you with human capital, which you which you can't buy a coke with. But 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 no, Lumen does a great job, and Claire and and, and Leroy, they do a fantastic job. You're here because you're celebrating. We should all celebrate this type of thing. Lumen was correct. We had um, a couple of roundtables on gun violence because we thought it was important. Uh, when I wanted to have the gun gun uh, violence roundtable, first person I called was Lumen and said, hey, what do you think? We need to have this conversation. We need to understand what the problems are so we can come up with these solutions. And so we had not one, not two, not three. We had four different roundtable uh, opportunities and every one of them, the public came up. And you know what they said? They didn't say we need we need more cops. They didn't say we need this or this. What they said was we need opportunities for youngsters. We need mentorship opportunities. We need our youngsters to have an opportunity and have hope. And so what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at that opportunity. I'm looking at that hope because every moment matters. You know, we're the sum of our experiences. So some of the people that I saw in this video, very well spoken, by the way, if you're in here, um, and you want to be a deputy, you just, you just give us a good call. That's uh, that's an uh, internship right into law enforcement is a great a great pathway because uh, we need great men and women. But what you heard um, was that opportunity. What you heard was an appreciation. What you heard also was that we want to do it again. We want to do it again because this these programs give people that self worth. They they give people an opportunity to learn something. So so that if you if you are indeed the sum of your experiences, the next time you apply for a job, you'll know how to work. You'll know how to deal with people. You'll know the value of a dollar. And you'll also know the value of yourself, what you are within your family, what you are within your community. And that's the beauty of a program just like this. And Lumen and, and your group, you guys do a fantastic job. This is a wonderful crowd. In the last couple of years, we've done this at Council Chambers and we, Commission Chambers, and we probably couldn't do this. And so I want to say once again how much I appreciate my friendship and our working relationship with Commissioner May, whether it's in the football field. Uh, and I'll tell you, the last conversation, long conversation Luna and I have had was about safety in sporting events. So whenever you see Lumen up here talking about uh, an intern program, know that the, all the conversations aren't about interns. They're, they're talking about families of lost loved ones. We're talking about safety for lost loved ones. We're talking about future. We're talking about economic development. We're talking about a love of community. And we're also talking about our own future. Because the people that are in that video, the people that are sitting here, the people that have participated in this program are going to be the one leading our community. And what better way to train for that than to come to work, be an intern, make a dollar, and make a difference. Thank you guys very much. You got love I share every time he gets a mic, he thinks he's the keynote speaker. He goes way longer than he's supposed to go. But I do appreciate his commitment, young people, because I think we, if we can get a little bit of those lead funds from the sheriff's office, everybody gets a raise. So uh, the sheriff's going to give us a few dollars, and that last paycheck can be a bonus check. So uh, again, <laughs> seriously, Chip, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, but for a few moments, uh, we're going. Everyone's going to get an introduction. But uh, if you had an intern that was in your office, if you were a supervisor, uh, if you were a director, uh, would you please stand? If you had someone that worked in your office and came, and just stand there for a second, and give it up for the young people. Give it up for them. And we want you to remain standing for one second. And young people, the reason I want you to applaud these people because every time we start this program, nobody, everybody says they want to help young people, everybody says they want to help children, but nobody really wants to train them. They really don't want them in your office. They really want them off. They're taking up space. They're taking up time. Oh my God. I mean, I got to come to work on time because the intern got to come to work on time. Oh, I got to stay till 5 o'clock. Oh, come to the intern. So it's difficult uh, to find people that want to mentor and train you. And so I want to applaud each of you for taking time to recognize the importance of teaching the next generation of leaders and not be fearful that they're going to take your job when they come. Look around, you can take their jobs. Take my job. Uh, that's what we want you to do. Uh, and for those who did not think it robbery, uh, to train young people and to bring them to your office and continue to do that, we want to thank you and applaud you because we know there are challenges. We know people walk in with sagging pants. We know that people sometimes come with the wrong attire. We know sometimes they're late. Sometimes they don't have the proper demeanor and protocol. Uh, but the things that you've instilled in them will go with them for the rest of their life because the first job is really the most impactful job because it's the job that will direct you and you'll remember for the rest of your life. So again, give it up for these supervisors. Thank you so much.
And again, thank our staff that worked this program and all of those who worked very hard. So at this time, you're gonna hear from a couple of students uh, that are interns that have, are currently working uh, here in Escambia County. The first will be Ty Jones. Ty. And the, the remarkable thing that you'll hear from young people when you go, the county is a great place to work. You get a lot of holidays, uh, you get good vacation, you may not get reached with your serving community, uh, but year to date, I think we have about 17 young people who started in our program who now have permanent jobs. I mean, they have insurance, they have retirement, and they have opportunity to serve their community. And so we just want to hear from a few of them. So thank you, Ty. I'm Ty. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you met me at um, the orientation this year. Um, I started last year, same internship program you're in. Uh, I would have been coming out the same time last year. Uh, this time this year, uh, I work at the Bob Sykes Toll Plaza out in Pensacola Beach, and I'm running it. That's <laughs> um, I, from the same place you were, uh, I came out of high school and straight into the internship program. Um, <laughs> I worked in construction a little bit before I got here, and I didn't really know what I was going to do, what I was supposed to do. I didn't have any experience in, well, anything. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't have a plan for college or a plan for a career. And coming into the internship program gave me a lot of guidance and a lot of opportunities. I got to meet a lot of really great people who have their own stories, and they were able to give me a lot of really great advice. Uh, and I'm sure plenty of y'all got those same opportunities. And I just, the internship program I think is really important. Uh, I, I came from, I grew up in Warrington, and kids I grew up with aren't working the kind of job I am. You know, this is, it, it's a great opportunity to get in and see how the real world works and get a real adult job. You know, you're not flipping burgers, you're out here helping the world work. And I, that's really awesome. <laughs> It, it'll give you a lot of great opportunities and at least a, uh, an idea of where you might want to go. Um, so I'm proud of y'all. I don't know a lot of y'all, <laughs> but uh, I think this is this is going to help a lot of y'all get to a better place, give you an idea where you want to go. Uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Kyle. Awesome, and you are a supervisor, just make sure everybody's at work on time. Um, the next young lady, uh, Cecilia Hamilton, uh, is a summer intern and has now been offered a job to continue her intern uh, with a job at the County and Human Service. Cecilia Hamilton. my first year as an intern. Um, this was definitely a great experience. I'm in the Neighborhood and Human Services Department um, where we learned about their state housing, um, basically helping low-income people being able to get in the first buyers, first home buyers program. Um, we also, also help with people getting appraisals, um, getting that type of stuff done. Just, I know right now it's a hard time for a lot of people to be in a household or be in a home based on their situation, but we help with that. Um, in my department, I actually love being in my department. Every day I came, it was just something new every day. Every time you come in, you're either learning something, you're either they're putting you to do something, or it doesn't matter what it is, but you just come in having that attitude like, hey, okay, what do you want me to do? What do you need me to do? That'll get you a job. Like. That's what got me a job. Just having that initiative coming in, being dressed, being ready. That's just really what that was. And this was definitely a great opportunity. It helped me know what's going on in the community today and right now. And it's a lot going on, but if we can do as young people to help stop it, we can do that now. Officer, you work the and you you have done great work. Um, this next young man and the final young man we'll hear from 
really touches my heart because two of the things I didn't have when I got elected that I didn't understand because of my background in, in sports and community center, we had no after school programs, we had no summer programs, we had no recreational programs, and we just allowed for community organizations to give them a building and a field and not run a program. But with the help of Leroy Williams, we started our first summer uh, program over at Edmund, even before we bought this building. Uh, and the young man that started in that program when he was age six, uh, when I was first elected, started in a summer camp program with us, graduated from our summer program, and got involved in our intern program, uh, and worked in, throughout our intern program. And now he is a full-time uh, county, uh, working our county engineering as an engineer specialist, uh, and he's proven to put that it really works, that investing in our children is the greatest investment. Uh, if you invest in them, you'll see an ROI. Uh, and Malcolm Presley uh, is the result of that. Malcolm, please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner May. Um, first again, but honor to God. And good morning to everybody in their respective places. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forgive me for my nervousness. Um, good morning, 2023 summer youth participants. My name is Malcolm Presley, as you just heard. I'm currently employed with the Scambia County Engineering and Traffic Department. I am currently in the holding spot of an engineering specialist, specifically a science specialist. Um, I've decided to share my success story with you if I started as a summer youth intern working through the Evanwood Community Center. Um, and I uh, initially volunteered for Evanwood with Ms. Lee Williams. Um, and um, it, it was wonderful. Um, after that, I uh, briefly interned with the IT department of Escambia County, um, in which I hold a bachelor's degree in IT. That was a very, very, it taught me how to dress appropriate, how to be alert, steadfast, and be learning and to close my mouth and to listen. Which most of us young people don't know how to do. Honestly, honestly, honestly. I just have a few things for us young people. Um, going from a teenager to an adult, these are the things that I feel that you need to learn. Number one, master your emotions. Be slow to speak, slow to anger, and fast to listen. When arguing, are you angry, frustrated? Show your dominance by being silent. A wise man once said nothing at all. Number two, create a daily routine. Follow through, wake up, work out, read the news, read what's involved in stocks, be involved in something more than your phone and social media. Correct. Number three, Create a spending, saving, and investment budget from your bank account. Always be willing to learn from anyone and anything. There's a lesson in every situation to be learned. Number five, build wise investments through your future connections and your current connections of people that surround you that you know will have a positive impact in your life. Learn to let go, sacrifice, soar to the top, whether who's ever is in your way, whether that's family, friends, relationships that can hold you back. Be able to sacrifice and look at the bigger picture. And number seven, be a bigger person in whatever situation, even when it's not in your favor. And one of the last things I want to leave you with, I want you to carry this out. And my high school teacher is the one that introduced it to me. It's called the six P's of life. It's called proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Proper prior planning prevents poor performance. If you plan, if you continue to invest in with yourself and understand that if I gotta be up at eight, I need to get up at 6.50. I need to get ready, I need to brush my teeth, I need to do this, I need to do that. And it sets you straight for the day that you need to go. I just want to leave you with, never give up on your dreams, no matter what. Thank you, give an honor to God, and thank you guys for listening to my testimony. Thank you, Mark, very inspirational. 
And we have other young people who have been extended to the list of about seven people. Jalen Payne will be in the library. Ja'Kai Rivers, Mahai Davidson will be in the, in the um, road department. But each of you have a story. Although we only heard from a few people, each of you have your own experience and your own story. Uh, and so feel free to share your story, share it with others, share it uh, when you get back in your neighborhood, share it when you get back to your classrooms, uh, and share your experience with your younger siblings and your younger cousins and your younger friends, because each and every person sitting in here, you're unique, you're special, and you're talented. Uh, because if not, you would have given up a long time ago. So thank all of you for being winners. We can't hear from everybody because uh, the ch sheriff has to get back to lunch, and um, so he wants to be gone by 12, 15. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, they get paid about an hour in the sheriff's department. Uh, at, at this time, uh, Clara is going to come, uh, and hopefully um, we will um, hold our applause to last, but each and every person here will be recognized, and we want to, at least parents and kids, and once you get yours, don't leave. Everyone deserves their opportunity to be recognized because each and every person, staff, and students have worked hard. So thank you, Clara. Now we're getting ready to um, hand out the certificates. Um, we have ushers on the side, so students, please follow the usher all the way to the front. And um, once you get your certificate, we're going to ask you to stand over to the right, and we're going to take a group picture with Commissioner May. Okay? So um, bring them on up. And our first group is with um, Career Source Escarosa, and uh, a lot of these students um, work that. Um, various um, CD, CDS pharmacy stores. Um, this summer, um, I work with the Escarosa. I see a lot of familiar faces, and it's great to see a lot of you all back this year. This is a great program. I had a great experience over at Escarosa, and I am forever grateful. So first, we're going to um, call the youth with CBS. We had quite a few. So as you hear your name, youth, if you would just come forward and receive your certificate. Jonathan Hill, we had Jameer Hartley, Harmani Millender Banks, Damarion Clay Jr., Nigelise Turner, Caitlin Jetter, Jordan Johnson, Janiya Taylor, Jeremy Whitty. Ashayla Days, Ashanti Knight, Armani Knight, Josiah Rudolph, Kevin Pittman, Cameron Binion, Nebron Jenkins, Braja Jenkins, Jaquavion Fan, Nebron Jones, Christian McLean, Shamaya Wiggins, Zoe Dokes, Jada Baker, Jemaya Shimo, Joshua Walker, Destiny Burt, and Aaliyah Reed.
Courtney Crockett. Now we're going to go with Kakua Institute. Dr. Marcus McBride, would you like to come up and have words? I'd just like to say congratulations to, to the students who are employed with the employers and also to the employers. I'd like to say uh, I really appreciate you taking time to mentor. And they say what you build will eventually end up building you up. And we have to take this time to make sure that we're building a future for tomorrow. And the youth. They are our future. So thank you for being a part of the program, and thank you to uh, the partnership with the county and with uh, the work that's done by both of our teams. I really appreciate that, and I'm so proud to be here today. So thank you. Unfortunately, there was a mix-up um, just a few minutes ago. Our Kakua Institute youth came up at the same time with our CDS youth, but I do want to recognize them because they worked just as hard in the program this summer. We had Keandre Allen Abram, Quiana Davidson, Roman Henry, Denim Kidd, Yamila Lewis, Mariah Long, Amira Wright, Amaya White, and Kennedy White. Now we're going to go with um, Deliverance Tabernacle. Is Mr. Brian here with this, um, Deliverance Tabernacle? Would you like to come up? Okay. LeBron Baldwin. Isaiah Drohan. Zamarion Tillman. Mariah Hughley, Sanaya Hughley, Elijah Jernigan, Fashanti Simpkins, Deasia Bell, Deja Harris, Naoki Rogers, and that's all from um, our Deliverance Tabernacle Union. Next, we'll have She Speaks and Inspires. 
We had two youths placed there. And I'm not gonna try to pronounce your last name, but I'm gonna get that first name right. Navia, and we had Kwame. Next, we have Metro Rapid Transportation all the way in Century. Our first youth is Michaela Evans. Denia Gibson. And we had Zidon Smith. Next, we'll call up our City of Century, the Town of Century youth. Our first youth is Ja'Kyra Carter. And then we have Amaya Finley. Our next employer we had was Auntie Annie's in the Mall, Isaiah Hurd, and Tatiana Thomas. Next, we had American Heritage, Jordan Black. In Century, we also had the food giant, Jordan Dawson and DeAndre Dawson. In Century, we also had the Century Center for Rehabilitation and Healing, Tatiana Dubos. And that's it. I would like for the youth who are with Escarosa, be sure to see me if you have not signed in, because if you don't sign in, you will not get paid today and you want your money, so make sure you see me before you leave, okay? Thank you. Next we have Jordan Palmer, and he works in District 3's office. And we have Michaela Fountain, who also works in District 3's office. And Nevaeh Moss, works in District 3.
Good morning. So we bring you greetings from Area Housing Commission. This is our first time participating in the summer youth program, and we are so happy. We had seven wonderful um, students with us to do an internship, and there were many places that they could have worked. We, we actually placed them where we needed them and where we thought they would get the most training. I have Jessica Drain with me. I'm in and out of the office, so she was really in charge of doing a lot of the paperwork and making sure they stayed up on their time sheet. So thank you, Jessica, for helping out with that. Um, I, too, as I said, was a summer worker, and uh, this was just a great commission. Thank you so much for in including us and encouraging area housing to do this. We have 744 families, and uh, we could have filled the whole um, county up with our children, but we thank you for giving us an opportunity to do that. So we want to introduce our seven um, uh, interns to you. We, have, we, uh, we had an opportunity to have two sets of siblings. So we have Brecken Neal and Garrett Neal, who were brothers, and they worked in our maintenance department. So come on to the side. And then, uh, that's not present, is Jabria and Jamira Rigid. They're not present, but they worked in our Marina Court office with our manager, Ms. Tammy uh, Walker, who's with us today. We had uh, Azavian Murdoch, who worked in our Gonzalez Court office with his supervisor, Mr. Aaron uh, Simmons. And then we had another sibling set, Rico and Michaela Hudson. Rico worked with um, Crispin at the J Street uh, Morris Court Sanchez, and his sister, Michaela worked with us in the central office. So again, thank you all so much for doing this commission. Thank you. This office is wonderful. Thank you all. Good afternoon. Uh, Commissioner May, I want to thank you for this program. We've been participated in it at the Department of Animal Welfare every year, and it's we have great kids. Um, and this year we had one of the best. I don't know if anybody's out there that worked for me before, but this was one of the best teams we've ever had. Unless you're out there, then you were great too. Um, I only have half of my team here today. I'm not sure where the other three are because they never missed a day the entire time they worked for us this year. So I was really proud of that. And again, they were great. So. I want to call them up though. Uh, Tashia Krabs, CJ Krabs, Michaela Jones, and then not here today, but I think they should be recognized as Jaden Hudgens, Demaya East, and Kendra Wire. Thanks, everybody. Good morning, I'm Crystal DeDura, the HR Director, and we were very surprised to get two individuals uh, to work within our Benefits Division, Personnel Division, Risk Division, and Employer Relations. So it's with my honor to announce Ms. Tamia Huff and Ms. Denise Stahler. infrastructure, um, our health service desk, everything. We had them do 31 courses. This morning we actually gave them certificates for all the courses they learned for their school. Um, I just think they're wonderful. So um, I just want to recognize Shalandra Curl <laughs> and William Harrell. students working in our um, neighborhood and human services community development agency, Rain, Rain Lindsay, Marcia McKinney, and Zaria Grantley.
And then we had some more students to work in our human services department. We have uh, Yumaya Walker. <laughs> Cecilia Hamilton. Joshua Dobin. Well, hello everybody. My name is Tamika Williams. I'm the business operations manager at Scambia County Public Safety. There we have fire, EMS, the 911 communication center, um, EMS billing, and emergency management. And we have the opportunity to host four students this year who completed the program, and it's an honor to say that we have hired two of those students. <laughs> those not in attendance who have been hired is Darian Atkins and Kendall Atkins. However, we do have Ms. Katana Sanders here. <laughs> and last but not least, Emma Gilmore. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is David Gardner from the Escambia County uh, Public School System, the Central Warehouse. Uh, this, uh, this summer, we had the opportunity to host uh, Christian Wynn with us. Uh, there was a lot of uh, experiences that you all don't get unless you go through a program like this. So I want to say congratulations to all of you for, for going out there and, and going at it. Um, this summer, Christian has learned uh, some valuable lessons and hard work and work ethic. Um, it's a very hot environment, 110 degrees sometimes, and then sometimes down to uh, minus 10 degrees in our freezer. Uh, some of those things that he actually got to experience. He also learned how to drive um, what we call an electric mule or a pallet jack. Um, some of those, again, some of those experiences you're not really going to get unless you go out there and do it. Uh, so again, I just want to introduce you guys to Christian Wynn. Clara Smith from our Molina Welcome. Taylor Johnson from our downtown office. And Avery Wheat. We're again glad to participate in this. We've participated many years. We've hired a couple of students. And I will say if you're 21 and looking for a job, we're hiring. We need help. Uh, and the biggest thing about this is helping kids succeed. When they succeed, the community succeeds. So again, thank you, Commissioner, for letting us be a part of that. Hi there, I'm Alice 
Allison Rogers with the County Attorney's Office. We had just one summer, summer youth employee, but he is absolutely a superstar with a very bright future. That win. From the Mass Transit Department, I'm Roger E. Skinner, I'm the Mass Transit Director. Uh, again, being from this community, actually from Pensco, Florida, I know we were told that you know you have to leave this place to go make money. You actually uh, have to go uh, away. You actually don't. This is a living example. You all living example that you can make money here in this community. And there's nothing wrong with going away, but make sure if you choose to go away, you come back and decide uh, to give back to your community where you come from. So I just want to make sure I put that message out to you all. And inside the Mass Transit Department, we had seven uh, employees that work with us. Again, they actually help us drive towards excellence. So I'm going to have Ms. Brittany come up and give it. Ramey Joseph. <laughs> Charles Dixon. <laughs> Darius Carter. <laughs> Tony Jones II. Xavier Beasley and Devin Thomas. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Nick Simmons, uh, Director of Extension Services. Um, we are actually kind of a unique department um, because we're a partnership with the University of Florida and uh, the Board of Commissioners here. Uh, we had uh, one intern with us this year uh, who is no stranger to our office. Um, I believe you've probably been coming to our office since you were in elementary school. Our, her mom is a nutrition educator, um, and so we, uh, we've always enjoyed to have Gracie there at the office with us. Um, we've had a, a wonderful summer. We, I think she's gotten to experience a, a little bit more of what uh, Extension does other than our, our 4-H program. Uh, Gracie here has served as our 4-H uh, council president this past year. Um, so she's recognized as a leader among her peers. So that speaks to the quality of youth we have in this program, Commissioner. So congratulations and we wish you the best of luck uh, in, in high school this year. director you know we have a road prison on site out there so sometimes the criteria is a little different for us to get youth help but this year we got one an outstanding young lady so much so we got her extended to keep her another month and she's got a right to get it and so we can not take it. Good afternoon. 
Um, my name is Rachel. I'm with the Molino branch of the West Florida Public Library. And we were so lucky this summer to have two great interns. I can't state how much help they've been over the summer with helping with programs that range in attendance from up to almost 200 to shelving and making sure that our patrons have what we need. We couldn't have done it without them. So today I'd like to thank Evan Luther. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Jeremiah Moore. Good afternoon, Michael Rhodes, Parks and Recreation Director. Uh, this summer, we were pleased to have two athletes in our high school system from rival schools, actually. We got a Pine Forest Eagle and a West Tech Jaguar working for us this summer. And uh, they've been sweating their tails off working in the field wearing steel toe boots, but I'm pretty sure both of them are going to qualify for the best dress today. Um, come on up, Jaquel Knight and DJ Jordan Johnson. Jeremy Fowler, uh, one of the lead maintenance technicians with uh, facilities management. And I uh, just want to say what an honor it has been. Uh, we had one intern, uh, Mr. Noah Montgomery. Uh, was a very hard worker. Uh, had, did just about anything that I asked uh, of him while we were working. And I told him I had to pick him up. The only problem I had with him being an avid Florida State fan is he liked buying hurricanes. <laughs> folks. Um, my name is Stevie Thomas. I'm the Youth Services Coordinator with Library Services. I'm at the Downtown Middle School Library and we had four interns this year spread across departments. They helped us with everything from circulation, uh, checking people in and out, writing library cards, shelving children's books, um, moving chairs, tables, working programs, 200 plus people, all kinds of things. So they were, they were a great help this year. We had Amari Harrington, she was largely in our adult services reference department. Right. Zach Sanders, he was me in the youth services department. Jalen Kane, with our circulation manager Susan White, who's hiding in the back. And Janiah Rivers, also with Ms. Susan White circulation. And I hear we get to keep two of them. So. We have SYEP Jacqueline Twins. Renasia Jones. I represent Development Services, Kim Wilson, as well as GIS Department, Mr. Shannon Pugh right here. And we had the pleasure of having two wonderful students uh, with us this year. One is a returning uh, student or intern. He's been with us almost every year since the program was uh, implemented. So uh, we, it's always a pleasure to have him back. I'd like to, uh, Mr. Teatro Adams. GIS, we had 
Suleiman Amir. And as a director of the Villain Research Department, we want to thank, there's this quote that says, without a vision, the people perish. Without commissioner-made vision and the partners of the Scammer County, our youth will not perish. Good afternoon, my name is Dana Morton. I'm one of the environmental program managers in water quality land management. We're responsible for monitoring about 65 surface water sites in Duval County in Pensacola. And these young men I'm about to introduce got to see quite a bit of the county and uh, experience life out sampling the water. And then also in the lab, we have our own lab managed by Amber Carver, and they spent some time in the lab too. So that's some unique experiences. Uh, Kashan, why don't you come on up? And Carter Neal right here. These guys were great. Uh, we had one more, Connor Brown, who's not able to be here. But uh, Carter and Kashan were the real workhorses for the group, and they were very reliable. And uh, they got to see what it's like. <laughs> and it's not all easy. My name is Jennifer Hampton, and I am the Division Manager of Permitting and Licensing for Escambia County. We've participated in this program ever since its implementation, and I adore it. Um, this year, we had two youth, uh, Mr. Brandon Johnson um, and Will Knight-Pepper. Mr. Johnson, I swear, he loved the licensing division. He did anything and everything we asked of him. He was great. I'm also going to introduce Renaya Pryor. She was with Fire and Life Safety, and they are a sister division to us, and she did an excellent job. Hello, I'm Samantha Bulldog with Escambia County Natural Resources. We had one intern through our Marine Resources Division. Margaret Todd was absolutely a wonderful addition to our education and outreach team. She also assisted with our sea turtle monitoring, um, our shoreline erosion, our invasive species control, and just a general wonderful delight to have on our team this summer. Hello everyone, I'm Serene Kike with Opening Doors. I wanna thank the county and the commissioner for this wonderful opportunity for our youth. We were really blessed to have our intern this summer. As a lead continuum of care, we we're also a collaborative and connectivity for the community. So her job was connecting our connect, connecting by calling folks, by helping with events. She actually raised awareness of one of our events by over double the attendees. And it happened to be on the day of the national, or not the national club, but we had a flood watch. The weather was horrible. She actually got people to come from Gulf Breeze, Navarre, Pace, and they came through the worst of the weather because they wanted to hear what she told them they were going to come to hear. So I think she is a wonderful employee. I hope she does get to work with someone. We'd love to have her. And she's poised for professionalism. As you can see, it's the way she dresses like this every day. So I'd like to present with Jada Caesar as our intern. Thank you. Commissioner May, on behalf of the Board of the Escambia County Housing Finance Authority, we thank you for letting us participate with you. I'm Lisa Bruneau, and I'm with Amanda Walls, our administration um, representative of handling all of our HR opportunity. And I have to say, Callista Brown was a shining star, and her future is bright. We're very excited to see what she's going to do at the University of West Florida as she begins her freshman year this fall. We're invested in her, we're looking forward to being part of her success, and we're looking forward to next summer's program. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lauren Richard from the Kukur Institute, and we were uh, very appreciative because we got a student from the county, and we got uh, nine students from Carissa, so. We have them working on a lot of different things, so you all will be able to see their work because they catalog 
a lot of the history of Pensacola. If you'll be able to go to the website and see all the people who lived in Belmont, the Bears, and, and stuff like that. So they did a great job. They got a chance to uh, get some certificates and data analysis, customer service, with the Google courses, so we're proud of them. And we have um, Miss Hannah. Oh, she's Hannah. Well, I want to give a shout out to Hannah. She's uh, going to be a sophomore at LSU. She's majoring in information technology and sports management. So she's. <laughs> CJ, wait, 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 CJ. I, my name is Al Henderson. I'm the Executive Director of the Human Relations Commission. We had the, we had the pleasure of working with Clarence O'Neill. His, his uh, given name is Clarence O'Neill, but he goes by CJ. We had a number of projects that CJ came in to work on, work for us. He got them all done. He developed standard operating procedures for those, for those things. And we just appreciate for the opportunity to work for CJ. Thank you, sir. Downtown Improvement Board, we have Ian LaRue. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Robert Frack, and I work in the engineering department. Uh, thank you, Commissioner May, for this, uh, for this opportunity, this program. Uh, this is the third time I'm speaking uh, at this event. Uh, very, very we have a, a return intern, Mr. Romeo Wilson. He worked with me in the construction management division. Uh, it's a pleasure to recognize him. So thank you very much for your hard work. Uh, in, in surveying uh, Mr. Peniel Odoville, he, uh, he had a lot of fun out in the field with the survey guys the other day. He was just telling me how much he enjoyed that. Uh, it's not high outside or anything. So uh, thank you all very much. We appreciate all the, the hard work for everyone. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Don Christian. I'm a program manager in the Transportation Department of Engineering. We have two gentlemen that work with us. Um, pretty good guys. Um, too bad we can't keep you longer, but uh, first we'll go with Donnell Bright. <laughs> Second is Jenny Montgomery. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, thank you for this program and hope to do it again next year. Hello, I'm Brian Wright, President of the Gulf Coast Minority Chamber of Commerce, and I want to thank Commissioner May and the county for their internship. It's our first year having an intern, and we're really grateful to have her. We learned so much. Luma, she actually kept me the office rate while I left and went to meetings, so I appreciate her being there and taking, taking care of the office for me. Her name is Xaviana Sanders. She's currently out of town right now, down in Orlando, making some trips and checking some colleges out down there. But thank you so much for saving me up for everything you did, and thank you for having us be involved in the program. Hello, everybody. Uh, just want to first start off by saying on behalf of the Pensacola Chamber of Commerce, thank you, Commissioner May, and all supporting uh, bodies in putting together this great and wonderful program. I would like to first start off by saying we had two amazing students. Uh, we have Kenzie Hopkins, who is a junior at Washington High School, and we appreciate everything that she's done. Uh, her and Jacoby Fountain. Jacoby, they were able to help us in all of our events and digital marketing and support. Jacoby is actually leaving us. He has a full scholarship. He is going to continue. He will be going to study. He will be going to study biology, but he decided recently to change it to business after working at the Pensacola Chamber of Commerce. And my name is Kenny Brown. I am the board of leadership at Pensacola at the Pensacola Chamber of Commerce. And thank you, everybody. Good afternoon, 
in there we're going to redispense with community corrections and we were lucky to have two youth uh, with us this this summer we had someone from pre-trial conversion and pre-trial relief services we had alexandria newell and bailey taylor Good day, I'm waiting for instruction. I am here to introduce and say thank you to the Wildcat from Booker T. Washington, Ms. Tatiana Marshall, who came to the Community Action Agency. She was an outstanding representative for Booker T. Washington and her family. We thank her for her time with the, uh, all the departments and the community action that she worked in. And I also need to give room for Ms. Otantula Willis, who was really the person who did everything. I get to stand here and say thank you. We want to thank you for allowing us to have coffee under the summer. She's our first student, and it's her first time participating in the program. But she was amazing. She came in not knowing what to expect, but we had her working everywhere from the reception, from client intake, to nutrition. Um, she also meets with Ursa, which is our enrollment specialist, that bring in the children that we serve. So we really, really enjoyed her, and we do hope to participate in this program again. Go ball catch. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Natasha Howard, and I am representing Community Health Northwest Florida. This is our first year participating in this program, and we were very, very thankful to have six wonderful interns with us. One who was not here with us, but I have Calandria Long. Tatiana Davis. First, I want to give thanks to uh, our commissioner, uh, to Ms. Clara Long, and to Ms. Maisha, and all of our partners. I'm uh, very proud to say that in, throughout the Scammy County, Pensacola, we had the largest summer camp program. We had over 162 kids registered. And uh, we had a great, great, great team of young people who pulled together to get the job done. They're awesome in all that they're doing. I'm so glad. I'm going to miss them so dearly. But I can't pronounce names, so I got an interpreter. Thompson, Division Manager for Neighborhood and Human Services. I want to first thank Commissioner Linda May for allowing this program to happen, Ms. Claire Long for allowing us to be a part of this, along with um, Mr. Leroy and Coach Trey. Great to have Coach. <laughs> this year we had some amazing workers here at the Brownsville Community Center, and they are as follows. Caitlin Kidd, Virginia Smith, Tyler Hardeman, 
Azaria McCarty, Keyshawn Black, Azaria Suggs, Roy Pettaway, Layla Simpson, Eddie Galloway. Thank you all for a job well done. Well, please, we'll be done in one second. Uh, Jason Turner, don't leave yet. We got plenty of food. Uh, <laughs> we need you to stay, Reverend. Uh, but we do want to recognize one of the most important things, young people, is to be to work on time and to be work consistent. I mean, you know, you can learn a lot of things if you're just there and you're respectful. Uh, so we are going to recognize those who had perfect attendance. Do we have those? Uh, I, I mean, the only thing, the problem, getting a job with government, you get lazy. Uh, perfect attendance, Alexandra Newells, Audrey Foss, Austin Robinson, Adrian Henry, Azara Shrugs, Brandon Johnson, Casey Hopson, Shalonda Curl, Danielle Leatherwood, Dan Atkins, Darius Carter, Darnell Bright, Hannah Johnson, Jahai Jaha Rivers, Jacoyle Knight, Jalen Payne, Jamar Benson, Jamai Campbell, Chris Callista Brown, Kendall Atkins, Kendra Wire, Garcia Leo, Michelle Johnson, Mahai Davison, Mr. Peniel, Mr. Freer, uh, Nichols, Wilson, Abner, Davis, Johnson, Jones, Weaver, Pritchett, Harold, Walker, and Sanders. Congratulations on perfect attendance. <laughs> Again, we want to thank the parents. Uh, I could not do it without my colleagues. Unfortunately, uh, when you are a county commissioner, you're not a mayor, you're not a sheriff, you're not a tax collector, you're not a Comptroller, uh, anything you get done, you have to get it done if you can count to three. And in the words of my great friend Willie Jr., he said, always be able to count to three. Uh, and I've never had a problem of counting to five when it came to getting funding for this program. Uh, and this program means a lot to me uh, because all the difficult days we're facing, all the gun violence, all the killings, all the shootings, uh, all the negative publicity that our young people get, today is a celebration that there's still hope, there's still opportunity. There are still more children doing good than children who are doing bad. Oh. Amen, sir. And I'm saying that there are more children are doing good than doing bad. Unfortunately, uh, the bad people get their attention. It's like the bad kid in the classroom. The teacher has to focus all his attention, and sometimes we forget the good children. So the charge, my, the charge today to each of you young people is to continue to work hard, to continue to do your studies. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to get a PhD or a master's degree. I mean, you can go workforce training. I can just tell you where our county administrator doesn't have a degree. And he's the highest ranking county official because he worked hard, he stayed the course, and he took charge. Uh, and we have many people making six figures within our county who never got a degree. They just worked hard and they stayed the course. So stay the course. And when you become successful and when you become the sheriff or the president of the city council or school board member, when you get that good job and you become the county attorney or you become the uh, engineer director, I mean, the only task, whether you live in Pensacola or where you live, you've got an opportunity to go back and help somebody achieve the things that you've achieved. And then that's when you give it back. You can't give back to all of, um, you cannot, um, you just show me something. Well, it's, uh, we have to take a moment. Uh, um, um, the Clarity family has gone through a lot. And, uh, there's just been some guilty verdicts that just happened in the courthouse today. So. Uh, young people, when there's a shooting and a killing, not only the person that gets put in the grave dies, but the person that does the shooting dies as well. Your grandmama died, your mama died, everybody died. Because the people around you that love you, when you find yourself in home, way, they hurt more than you hurt. And so the best way to stay out of trouble does not be around trouble. So I encourage you. I encourage you today. I got a whole lot of friends that say, a whole lot of got a whole lot of friends that a lot of bad things. I don't want to be one of them. Identify with the people that you've seen today and be one of them. I mean, be the next director of community health. Be the next director of community action. Be the next tax collector. Be that person, and you can do it. 
and we believe in you, and if no one else tells you today that they love you, I can tell you the people in this room uh, love you. I mean, I, can, I know all the county employees love you, because they came on their lunch break, and now they can't go to lunch. And so <laughs> they had to love you. So again, we want to thank you. Our goal was to get the sheriff out of here about 12.30. Uh, we are going to do it. Parents, children, we have enough food for everybody. I would be remiss if I didn't thank our county staff. No one person can do this. So please give up our county. If you're a county staff, please stand and wave your hand. If you come with a county staff, uh, these people, they see the vision, they believe in the vision. And they'll tell you I'm busting every Thursday, I'm raising hell every Thursday, uh, but they still, uh, every week, they continue to go and they continue to fight. And one thing, this is just not District 3, this is District 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Poverty has no geographical boundaries. Crime has no geographical boundaries. A hungry child uh, has no geographical boundaries. We're all in this together. All of Escambia County. We're one Escambia, uh, and I'm proud of that. So as we close, uh, we would be remiss if we didn't call the, the largest preacher in town uh, to um, do our prayer uh, for our food. Uh, he is one of the biggest preachers here in this entire town, uh, Pastor Marcel Davis. He has a lot of eight members of his church. By, by, by side, you know, he is the biggest preacher in this town. Amen. Hey thank you, Commissioner Ray. Always remember, and we thank Commissioner, if we can give them their mindset and give them a skill set, they'll have an asset to get set for life. Let's pray. Father, we do give you thanksgiving and praise for every good and perfect gift that you've given us to these children today. We thank you for the leadership that mentored them and cared for them this summer. We pray that nothing will be missing or lacking in their life. Now, Father, the food that we're about to receive, we thank you for it now. We ask your grace upon it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And to all my summer workers, we do have a gift for you. You're going to be paid for the day, but each of you, by being here and being patient, you are going to get an extra day of pay without having to come to work. Congratulations to each one of you. Congratulations to that happens to each one of our people. Thank y'all. Please have food, fellowship, meet somebody that you don't know.